I can't believe I'm actually finally here, not being a PA student, not just getting into PA school, not just getting through PA school, but actually being here six months into my medical practice as a PA, now looking at hiring my own medical scribes. It's honestly freaking surreal. Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a physician assistant working in internal medicine and medically supervised weight loss. If you've been following my channel, then you know that I was a very, very non-traditional applicant to PA school. Because at one point, my grades were garbage, I had no experience, I really had no chance of getting in, and I had to learn and put in a lot of work from the ground up in order to become competitive enough to finally get into PA school, and of course, the rest is history. Now I'm here practicing as a PA. I've also been using all of that experience to help people get into PA school for about two years now. So I started doing that during my didactic year, kind of reading people's essays, doing mock interviews, just counseling them on how to improve their application. And I've been doing that, I guess, semi-professionally since then. I've got a website, boristhepa.com, where I help people to get into PA school. And of course, anybody who's applying to PA school or medical school or even nursing school knows that there's two things you absolutely, fundamentally have to have. One of those things is excellent grades. There's no way around that. The other thing is high quality, hands-on medical experience. And that actually brings me to my piece of very, very exciting news. So like I mentioned just a few seconds ago, I've been practicing for about six months and I am now finally ready to hire myself a medical scribe to work with me to help improve my productivity, the patient's experience in general so that I can spend more time talking to the patient and treating the patient and less time typing away at the computer and just in general to help me practice at a higher level as a physician assistant. So that's what it's in it for me. What's in it for you is that working with me as my medical scribe, I am 100% certain will be one of the best possible patient care experiences you will ever be able to get anywhere. Of course, you'll have all the benefits of being a medical scribe, so working one-on-one -on -one with the medical provider, in this case me, and learning to understand my thought process and clinical decision-making, as well as that of my doctor who I communicate with daily, and working in an outpatient primary care setting where you really get to see a little bit of everything so you get an incredibly broad scope of experience and knowledge medically while you're working here. So that's the benefit you get by being a scribe really in any primary care setting. What's special about this position is I will also be cross-training you to work as a medical assistant to help me out, to help the doctor out, to just generally help out around the office because it's a small family-run business. So you will also get hands-on experience. We're gonna train you on how to do EKGs, blood draws, vitals, blood pressure, all that kind of stuff, talking to patients, asking them questions, being one-on-one, -on -one, checking patients in. Primarily, you'll be my scribe, so you'll be doing data entry, following me around, learning how to write a very high-quality history, just seeing the whole process that I go through as a provider and helping me with that. But also, as a medical assistant and doing the hands-on things, you'll be getting all kinds of hands-on medical experience, which most scribes actually don't get to do. I myself was a medical scribe at an emergency room, and there was actually a rule that I wasn't allowed to touch the patients. I was barely even allowed to talk to the patients. That's not the case here. Here, yes, you're a scribe. Your primary duty is to be a medical scribe, but you are also going to be a medical assistant, so you'll be getting that hands-on experience. So a lot of schools, most schools actually do accept scribe hours, but a lot of PA schools actually do not because it's not hands-on. You learn a ton, you have a ton of knowledge, but you're not actually practicing hands-on with patients. In this position, you will be. And of course, when it comes time for you to apply to medical school, PA school, nursing school, whatever your dreams are, if you've worked with me for, you know, six months, a year, whatever it may be, of course I'm going to be very happy to write you an excellent letter of recommendation and help you in any way that I possibly can with your application. And as I just mentioned, I've been doing that semi-professionally for about two years, so I do know what I'm doing in that regard too, and would be more than happy to personally help you with your application. Now, just a little bit about the position. Of course, it's in Syracuse, New York, where I live and practice. We have two locations. One is kind of suburban slash urban. So we get a lot of suburban folks, a lot of folks from the city. We also have a second location that I'm currently working at only one day a week. That might change, but currently it's one day and it's really rural. So it's out in the country. So we have a totally different patient population out that way. So you really get a very diverse experience, not only in how broad your scope of practice will be working in internal medicine and primary care, where we get to see a little bit of everything, but also various different patient populations that we take care of across the two different locations that we practice out of. So this experience will be incredibly diverse and incredibly good for your learning and your future medical career. 
You'll be working off of my schedule and I work Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through usually about four, maybe 4.30. If it's just a really crazy day or there's a lot to do, maybe I'll stay till five, but usually not later than that. And sometimes I'm out of here at like 3.30. It just, it really depends on how the day goes. So eight to approximately four, 4.30, Monday through Friday is gonna be your average schedule. Now the doctor, he does have Saturday hours. So if you wanna make more money or if you ever wanna see what a Saturday looks like, Maybe that's gonna be an opportunity for you, but primarily it's gonna be five days a week, Monday through Friday, essentially eight to four, eight to five. So pretty good hours. Here in Syracuse, the cost of living is really low and you'll be paid competitively for what you do. And if you're not from here, I can tell you that Syracuse really has a lot to offer. I actually really enjoy living here, especially in the summer. When the weather's nice, I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful city to live in. Tons of hiking, wine trails, good little downtown area, lots of shopping, lots of places to go out. So it's really an amazing city to live in and you'll actually enjoy your time here if you're not from here. If you are already from upstate New York, this would probably be an easier job for you to take because there won't be a big move. But either way, I honestly like Syracuse. I like living here, so I think you'll enjoy it as well, at least for the time that you're here. Now, if all of that sounds good to you, let me tell you a little bit about the kind of person that I'm looking at hiring as my medical scribe. First and foremost, I need you to be a type A person with extremely good attention to detail. That means you're hardworking, you're organized, and you're always looking to learn more and to do more. If there's something that you don't know enough about, you're eager to learn how to do it or what it's all about. If there's something that you don't know how to do, you're not afraid to ask and be shown how to do something and be very teachable. Because honestly, that's the only way you're gonna succeed in PA school and medical school and nursing school and just working in medicine in general. So that's the only way that I need you to be working for me because that's the only kind of person that I can personally work with. I'm a very high performance person as far as my job goes and that's just what I expect from you. The reason I'm hiring you is to increase my productivity to make patient care experiences here better, not to make them worse and not to slow me down. So I need a type A person with good attention to detail. The next thing that you must have is you must be a fast typer with a good grasp of the English language. So if English is your second language like it was mine, that's totally fine. As long as you speak clearly, I can understand you and you can understand English well as well. Obviously as a medical scribe, that's kind of a prerequisite. You absolutely have to have that. And those are two things that if we make it to the interview process with you, I'm going to be testing. So we're gonna do a Zoom interview, unless you're here locally, then we can be in person. Uh, but I'm planning on doing a Zoom interview, at which point I'll ask you to share your screen and I'm gonna actually give you a typing test. Another thing is you don't have to be, you know, extremely comfortable with medical terminology, but you should have some sort of medical background or biological background or something. You should have worked as a lab tech, have a biology major, chemistry major. You should have some kind of experience with the medical field because there's just so much to learn and I'm definitely planning on teaching you, but I can't spend six months teaching you basic medical terminology. I need you to already have some of that before you start working with me. So definitely some experience with medical terminology is a huge plus. The next thing I need is for you to be dependable. That means you take yourself and your job very seriously. And if you want to get into nursing school, PA school, medical school, you have to be that way. You have to take your future seriously, your life seriously, your work seriously, your grades seriously. It's incredibly competitive out there and this is just the only way to succeed. So that's the kind of person I'm looking for for this position. Quick example of that, what that really means is you only miss work if you're really, really sick and you do what you can to prevent yourself from becoming sick. So that means if it's Friday and you're going out, you're not getting extremely drunk and hungover and then you know, that hangover lasts through Sunday and then on Monday you're feeling like crap and you're coming into work tired, hungover, just not feeling good, or even worse, you call out because you're sick. We can't have that. I don't do that. My doctor depends on me, my patients depend on me, and I need to be able to depend on you. So again, I need someone who takes themselves and their future very seriously, and they are very dependable. And last but not least, I'd like you to be available for about one year, if not more. I know this is a temporary position, being a scribe is very hard work. You learn a ton, which is fantastic, but it's very, very hard work for how much you get paid. You don't have any qualifications. You're not a nurse, you're not a provider. So you get paid you know, decently enough to live for sure, especially in Syracuse, but you're not getting paid a ton. And I know that most people will not be a scribe long-term. One year, maybe two years max, before you finally reach your dreams and you get to nursing school, PA school, medical school, whatever it may be. So I know this is gonna be temporary for you, but I'd like you to plan on staying at least one year because it's gonna take about two to three months for you to even learn your job and be comfortable. And if you're gonna leave two months after that, it's really, you know, there's no point in hiring you. And I do plan on having a revolving door of scribes 
you know, after you're gone, I'll be training up another one and then another one. I'm planning on keeping a scribe here for maybe a year, not much longer, but I would like you to commit to at least about a year of work. That just makes sense to me. And that's really it, guys. So if you're interested in the position and working with me, go to my website, boristhepa.com, click on the Contact Me tab, and just send me a message saying you know, that you're interested in the scribe position. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a medical scribe working with me, what your dreams are, nursing school, PA school, medical school, how you think I can help, how you think this position can help. Just tell me a little bit about yourself, who you are as a person, and why you think you're a good fit for the job. And if I think that you are, I'll email you back, I'll ask for your resume, I'll possibly ask you to set up a Zoom interview with me where we can do that typing test, maybe talk a little bit about medical terminology and your background, and see if you might be a fit for the position. I'm excited about this, you guys. I can't believe I'm actually finally here, not being a PA student, not just getting into PA school, not just getting through PA school, but actually being here six months into my medical practice as a PA, now looking at hiring my own medical scribe. It's, it's honestly freaking surreal but I can't wait to pay it forward. All the knowledge, all the experience that I've gained, I just cannot wait to pass this on to the next generation, help somebody else reach their dreams of becoming a PA or a nurse or a doctor and do everything that I can to help you as well. All right, guys, if you're interested in working with me, please do what I just said, and I'll look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day.